good morning. So look at these beautiful snapdragon seedlings. Yes, they look healthy, they look vibrant in color. Um, but what I've realized and what I've learned is they're too tall and we need to be pinching these back. And since I've never grown snapdragons, I got on um, Florette's Flowers, their um, Facebook page, and message them and her team so what do I do and they are so good to respond I mean I'm there you would think that Aaron and I are best friends but we're not but anyhow what they said I need to start pinching these back and she recommends you go to the third uh, true leaf and pinch back pinch back um, started because you used to use your fingers to pinch them back but I'm gonna be using um, these tiny little scissors you I've used my little uh, pruning shears too and they work well but I find these tiny ones are gonna work better so let me show you the process of pinching back and why do you pinch back um, for three reasons you want to encourage better root growth because the energy will go to making better roots stronger you're going to get a stronger stem so when you transplant these out they'll be nice and strong and everywhere you pinch, when you pinch like that, you're gonna get branching. You're gonna see, I can show you. In fact, I have one that I pinched back several days ago just to practice. And I can see new leaves coming out. And from those leaves are more branches. More branches mean more flowers. And uh, this is for the cutting garden. And that's what I want. I want flowers for vases and flowers to give away. So let me show you, first of all, how you cut back and then I'll show you the one where I've already cut back and pinched back and you can see the leaves. The other thing I'm gonna do this morning is I have some small little peat pots that I'm also going to, this is just for me, I'm gonna try this, to pot a few up because I have 72 gorgeous plants and I can play with those. I'm gonna pinch them back, pot them up to um, a three inch pot. These are one inch pots and then compare when in about four weeks if the weather is permissible no frost ahead when i plant these in to see if the plants look any different from potting them up or leaving them in their trays because again i've never done snapdragons and i've never seeded this many inside since they've been in the seed since oh march the 5th so they're um going to be nice and ready for the outside, but I want to see if potting them up makes them even bigger when I get them out there so I can start cutting sooner. So anyhow, let me show you the pinching process. I'm going to pull this right down to you. Hopefully you'll be able to see. And what I've done, I've loosened uh, a couple of these plants from their little pot using a little knife. Again, that's my little tool for loosening up these plants so that I don't rip their roots. So I'm gonna hold this up. And what you don't count, the first little leaves down here are called cantilidans. Didn't know that, but looked it up. We don't count this first leaf. You want to go to the third true set of leaves. One, two, three. And now you're gonna cut right at that intersection like that. And hopefully we will start seeing a little growth I'm so excited if you look where I've cut back it up a little bit this branch off on either side I can see on either side I can see two little leaf buds now there's so much growth going on in this plant it just it so, just amazes me so from here, I'm going to put them in a little peat pot. Um, so I've already moistened my soil and I'm using just a potting mix, anything you wanna use, not a seed mix. Now we're going to a potting mix for better nutrients. I'm using these little three inch pots and I've moistened it like I did for the seedlings, just to where it clumps and there's no water running out. So we'll put this in its little cup Again, you probably don't have to do this potting up process. Um, this is just my little um, thing to do. 
And so I'm gonna take my little plant right here, the one with the two new branches. I'm gonna stick it in my pot. Look at the nice root surface on this already. So this will allow better root growth, stronger. Top this off with dirt. And since I have 72, I'll probably, I have a dozen cups out here. Um, I'll pot up maybe 12 or maybe more, just depends on what I wanna do. And I'm gonna continue pinching these off just like that. There's one, two, three. I'm going to, and you can, let me tell you, they also said you can go, if this is a little limpy, which this is, I'm gonna go at the second and cut that off. Um, so I'm gonna continue cutting these back. There's one, two, three. I'm gonna go right here. Cutting these back, I'm going to pot several up and I will keep you, I'll show you probably in a week from now what, how everything looks. And I'm gonna make a note on my calendar, and I know all of us have calendars, that today on the 26th, pinch the Snapdragons back. Oh, just talking about calendars, go to your local, um, oh gosh, extension service. A neighbor gave me this wonderful calendar from our Lewis County Extension Service here in West Virginia, Weston, and it's so cool. It gives you something to do on every day, whether it's vegetables, whether it's moving your compost. So pick them up, they're free. And like I said, I'm gonna continue uh, pinching these off, potting some up, and uh, just a quick look here. You can see the caladiums. I have never had this much growth. That's what lights, <laughs> and getting the right little tools. I mean, it's a it, to see this, here it is in April. When I get ready to put these in my pots that go on, in some of the shady areas, I'll be thrilled. Look how huge. Now, I thought I had some red, but it looks like I'm only getting one red one. But I'm still getting all this growth, and look how beautiful. So anyhow, that's just a little side, side point. So um, again, pinch back your snapdragons and... Uh, Keep them watered, and in about four more weeks, we'll be able to be planting these out in the garden. So thanks for watching. It's always fun. Bye.